RISA Foundation utilizes a comprehensive set of modeling tools for the simple creation of a variety of foundation elements, including retaining walls, spread and combined footings, piles, and mat slabs. In this video, we will take a look at how RISA Foundation integrates with RISA 3D to design foundations using the results of your RISA 3D analysis. Getting started, I've got a pretty typical looking RISA 3D model. I've got some braced frames, some moment frames, some wall elements here with openings for doorways. There's really nothing particularly special or different that I need to do with RISA 3D to get it to integrate with RISA Foundation. The only thing, if you're not already doing it, is to use the category codes in the basic load cases. So this is a good organizational practice. You can see that I've got the self-weight and additional dead load in separate lines that can be useful but they're grouped together under the same category code. And then various things like roof, live load, snow, wind in different directions, earthquake, and an impact load. I've already solved this model for the batch plus envelope solution. You can do that. You can do single combinations if you want to. I've got a large number of load combinations in this model. That's okay. Note that I am solving these with LRFD load combinations as well. When I solve this model, of course, I get a very, very large number of reactions for every load combination at the base of my structure. You can see the way that the wall reactions are discretized at the base of each wall. Turn those back off. If I'm happy with the results in RISA 3D and I'm ready to move into RISA Foundation, I simply do so by hitting the director button in the upper right hand corner, selecting RISA Foundation. It will prompt you to save your model if you haven't already. In this case, it's also going to prompt me to choose whether I want to bring over all reactions regardless of elevation or bring over reactions at a certain elevation. The reason for this is that the right side of my structure is about a foot higher than the rest of it at these boundary conditions. And I'm going to say that that's okay. I'm going to bring them all over and get these foundations designed in one fell swoop. Let's hit OK. Risa 3D shuts down. RISA Foundation opens up, and what you'll find is that you are still in the original RISA 3D file. You get this 3D indicator at the top of the screen. You'll see that the file extension is a .r3d, that's a RISA 3D file extension. So your project is still all in one file. This is important for data integrity. This means that you're always going to be working in RISA Foundation using the most up-to-date RISA 3D reactions. It also saves you a lot of time as you go back and forth. You don't have to be copy pasting those reactions from one place into another. Reese has got it handled for you. It's also a two way street at this point. I can hit the director button at any time, go back into Risa 3D, make changes there to the structure or to the loading. When I rerun the Risa 3D file, come back into Risa Foundation, the loads will be updated, any positioning will be updated. We can see the loads that have been placed here for me at every column base and at every wall base. These are the dead loads, the results of the dead loads from RISA 3D in particular. I can view any of those. You'll notice that these loads have been unfactored and put back into their original categories. That was the importance of using the category codes in RISA 3D. So this is important because it gives me the freedom to set up my own load combinations for the foundation specifically we'll see that we have service versus strength combinations that are denoted by whether this checkbox is checked or unchecked. Anything with this checkbox checked will be used for uh, soil bearing, sliding, and overturning checks. And without it checked will be used for strength. So I can use the load combination generator to quickly recreate the same load combinations that I had in RISA 3D. We'll do the strength combos first. And then I can simply switch that to the ASD version hit generate again, and we'll find that I've generated equal and opposite combinations with service factors and with strength factors. With that, I'm ready to start designing the foundations for this structure. The end product might look something like this. For more information about RISA Foundation and RISA 3D, please visit risa.com.